Hello and welcome to Interview. I am Jolene Bisset Joseph and this is a production of the Government Information Service. Today we are joined by representatives from the St. Lucian International Association. Based in St. Lucia, the association's aim is to assist individuals returning to St. Lucia with reintegration. Here to tell us a little more about the associ association, sorry, I am actually joined today by the Secretary of the St. Lucia International Association and the Union of St. Lucian Overseas Association, Ms. Bernie Clary, and Chairperson from the North, Ms. Maura Bernard. Ladies, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having us. Okay, now, first things first, let's find out exactly what the association is. Can you give me a little, a bit more details about the association? Well, the St. Lucia International Association, also known as SLIA, mm -hmm. was founded um, in April of 2000, just prior to that, a few months before, um, a small number of uh, returned nationals, uh, was, they were encountering some difficulties. You know what it's like with settling, when, you know, in any place that you haven't been for a while. Mm -hmm. So they thought by coming together, um, that would provide them if one voice to address the issues, the difficulties they had settling, and um, and to uh, to go to the various authorities, the relevant authorities, to mm -hmm. see how they can best help. Mm -hmm. So that's how it started, mm -hmm. um, and uh, as I said, it was a small number, but that quickly increased mm -hmm. as more returnees were, were coming to Saint Lucia, mm -hmm. and uh, because of that there was a South uh, chapter established as well. So in the South, we have Miss Lucy, Mrs. Lucille Oku, mm -hmm. who unfortunately cannot be with us today. She regrets that. And, um, and in the North, our founding members, um, I should really mention two prominent people, Mr. Michael, Mike Augustine, mm -hmm. and also Mr. Angus Philogen, who were both chair persons of the association and uh, it it really did help it helped in the sense that we got the returnees to get together to share what they were experiencing the difficulties mm -hmm. they were experiencing mm -hmm. and to socialize as well and um, basically th that was it okay. and uh, we've continued to to be you, you know we continue to function as best we can okay all right can you actually give me some insight into the kind of um, maybe issues, I think problems would be too strong a word, but issues that maybe returnees may be having that the association can actually help them with? Um, with settling, sometimes, um, especially I can, experiencing from myself, mm -hmm. I came down with my son um, and he still needed to be in education. Okay. And there's a member of the association who was very, very instrumental mm -hmm. in assisting me in getting him into the system. Okay. That was one of the things as well. Mm -hmm. And also, um, I suppose, Bernie, would you like to add anything to that? Um, well, um, coming together, somebody coming to St. Lucia, I mean, the people we have assisted ba basically is our our members or friends of our members who have actually come and s come to us and say, well, you know, mm -hmm. we're having this problem, so we try and assist as best as we can. But right. when you can see the, I mean, Mora was an exception um, mm -hmm. because most of the people who come back are not actually retirees, right. senior people mm -hmm. who uh, who left St. Lucia when they were young, so they go back to their families and the difficulties they encounter is mostly, you know, getting their stuff here, reintegrating yeah. into the uh, into the communities where mm -hmm. they come from. They find sometimes it is difficult. Okay. So that kind of issue, those kind of issues, you okay. know, nothing right. too serious. Okay, <laughs> no problem. But something like that again that I, I believe that was brought up and something that stood out to me when I was reading up about the association is that the fact that you do actually have two chapters, the North and the South. Mm -hmm. is, do you find that maybe there, there might be things that people are experiencing in the South that maybe the people in the North aren't experiencing and that way you can help as well? I think they're quite similar, okay. similar p problems encountered. Okay. Yes. Okay. And I should also say that although there's a north and the south, mm -hmm. we do meet um, two to three times a year. Mm -hmm. um, we celebrate independence anniversaries. Mm -hmm. um, we have a 
a yearly sandy beach party mm -hmm. which is a great hit okay you know so so yes yeah, similar similar problems okay are encountered okay no problem and uh, can i also say mm -hmm. that um the south has a much bigger group mm -hmm. than we have in okay. the north that wasn't really? the case initially okay. we started off with a big group okay and um, i'm sure you you know many people are aware mm -hmm. that quite a few returned nationals returned mm -hmm. to the uk and elsewhere okay yes yes, yes. yes. and yeah. um and the aging uh, mm -hmm. there's the aging problem as well okay no yes. problem okay now this conversation is going very well but i know that right now we're gonna have to just take a short break and when we come back we'll carry on and find out more about the okay. association we'll be back in a moment pamela i noticed that you built your retaining wall on my property you will have to give me my land back or compensate me for that my contractor isn't dumb i trust that he will not build anything on your property where is your proof let's go to court this situation does not require you to go to court. Looks like we have to go through mediation here. Mediation is a way people resolve conflicts like this. Someone, a third party, comes to speak to both parties. This person is called the mediator. The mediator is impartial. He or she makes sure that communication between both parties is effective and efficient. So, the mediator is a judge? No, the mediator is not a judge. Mediators, unlike judges, do not decide cases or impose settlements. Let me get a mediator to handle this retaining wall and that kitchen. Kitchen? Yes, your kitchen also falls on my land. Let me call the mediator. Welcome back to Interview. I am Jordan Bisset Joseph, and today I'm joined by members of the St. Lucian International Association. Now, ladies, before we went to the break, you were telling me a bit about the activities, because it's not only just a case of you helping people out if issues do arrive, there's that social aspect of the association as well. So tell me about some of the stuff that you do as an association. Well, bearing in mind the aims of the association, mm -hmm. which is self-development, right. um, community outreach, socializing, which mm -hmm. is crucial. <laughs> um, we, we, meet, we meet on a monthly basis. We have our meetings. Mm -hmm. But um, we also, looking at self-development, we have guest speakers coming mm -hmm. to address us mm -hmm. with their expertise. Um, in fact, recently we had someone from a former fire, fireman come and address us about the safety aspects. Okay. We've had... We've had um, Dr. King, Amanda King, come mm -hmm. to address us about um, skeletal and bone disorders. Okay. And when you think about the aging population mm -hmm. now with, within our association. Mm -hmm. So that's one aspect. And we, we, when it comes to outreach, mm -hmm. community outreach, we, we have adopted the Sisters of Charity Nursing mm -hmm. Home mm -hmm. at uh, the hospital, mm -hmm. hospital Road. Mm -hmm. And we assist them financially. We've been doing that for a few years. And uh, Christmas time, we mm -hmm. have the hampers, okay. hampers for um, persons identified in various communities and also a few institutions as well. Okay. Uh, okay. I think that's basic, yes. All right, because you... That, oh, and that's fun, fun, uh -huh. fun, yes. Uh -huh. We do have the parties. <laughs> okay. Yes, in fact, <laughs> our Christmas luncheon is coming yeah. up, yes. <laughs> okay, yeah. that's brilliant. Now, you see, you're, you're telling me all of this, but then wh where can one go to find out more about the association? Because if, like, for instance, somebody out there is watching this right now, and they want to know how to contact the association and maybe just, you know, be in touch with you. What would one do? Is it a case of calling or do you have a Facebook page? Is there some way we can get in touch with you? Um, that, 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 that is where we will say that the, the age and, and technology don't come together so well. <laughs> okay. Because um, we have been trying to establish a, a, a Facebook page, but mm -hmm. unfortunately all of our, our members are a little too scared. I feel they're a little too old to actually okay, get into okay, that. Okay. So pers um, getting in touch with us will probably be for a member, mm. or I'm not even sure if we are, are we in the, f where we in the, in the phone book? Yeah. But through contact with members, a member, okay. a particular member or any member, whether from the south or from the north, okay. that would be the best way. For and I can then. also give a contact number, mm -hmm. which is 
489-7216. Okay, brilliant. And our base is at um, the Lion's okay. Den. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to say how grateful we are that through the years mm -hmm. we've been housed there. Okay. We worked in partnership with mm -hmm. them at one time. Mm -hmm. And if there are any fundraising events, we, you know, we work in partnership as well. So mm -hmm. we are at the Lion's Den the last Friday of every month. Okay. And All in right. fact, I would love to extend an invitation to... Um, those interested to attend our open mm -hmm. session. We have an open afternoon to evening next week, Friday the 29th. Okay. So it's going to be fun as well. So yeah. opportunity to, to, to ask questions mm -hmm. and also to have some, some fun. Going to make it a social open Mm -hmm. Open day. So sounds good. Go. Okay, brilliant. Now moving on, I know as well that um, there is a biannual convention in Cal Calvary slated for 2020. Tell us a little bit about that. What is the convention actually about? Um, well, the convention is um, a, a meet. Well, I don't know a meeting where mm -hmm. all Saint Lucian associations come together. Mm -hmm to exchange ideas and to discuss the issues that are affecting them. Mm -hmm. um, and it's all over the world. Wherever there is St. Lucians, there is usually an association. And that, yeah. that convention is a grouping of all of us together. Okay. Uh, we meet every two years in a different location. And next year, 2020, it will be in Calgary. Okay. And um, basically, that's what we'll be doing, discussing the issues that affect St. Lucians. And of course, trying to keep in touch with what is happening in St. Lucia at our home, our homeland. Okay. And usually an invitation is extended to the government, to the authorities to come and address us about what is happening here because mm -hmm. some, a lot of people that, a lot of St. Lucians living in the, in the wider world mm -hmm. don't actually n get to know what is happening with in St. Lucia. Although with technology now, that is changing drastically. Right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. basically that's what the convention is about. And okay. So is it the first time the associations going to be a part of the, the convention or you've been oh, no. there before? Okay. Because we are we are member of USLOA. Oh, okay. Yeah. Great. So in mm -hmm. fact, last year's convention was, was great. It mm -hmm. was in the UK. Mm -hmm. And um, I am very, very heartened mm -hmm. and pleased that the burning issues that were discussed last year mm -hmm. have been uh, well are being addressed okay. and uh, one of the crucial points last year with among the delegates was that our policy the diaspora policy had not been implemented mm -hmm. i mean and we'd been discussing that since 20 uh, no, to 20 years, okay. 2010. Okay. And we can see that, you know, it's been implemented now. Mm -hmm. Now we have a diaspora um, office. Mm -hmm. We have an ambassador for the diaspora. And that is already starting to make a difference. Excellent. So they are listening to us. That is Hopefully. brilliant. That's great. Well, ladies, it's been fantastic talking to you because, as I said, I didn't even know about the association. Um, it's great that you were able to come on the show and actually share with us and the audience, you know, tell them exactly what's going on. I hope you do come back another day and talk to us okay. some more. Um, but for now, I'm going to say bye-bye to you. And again, thank you for being part of the Thank interview. you again thank you so for, inviting for inviting us. Inviting us yes. Great. Thank you, everybody out there, for watching the interview. However, for now... It's me, Jolene Bissett, saying goodbye.